Now, this is my post-fight review to Kell Brook's win over Mark DeLuca tonight. Uh, very good performance from Kell Brook, man. It took him a couple of rounds to get going. Obviously, just to shake off the ring rust. Let's not forget he's been out of the ring for over a year now. Like, what is it? Like, he was out of the ring since December uh, 2018. So, of course, he's going to need to shake off some of that ring rust. But once he did, his uh, skill level, his experience, his repertoire... His overall boxing ability showed and he was just far too much for Mark DeLuca, who was a tough cookie, man, let's be honest. Um, he went in there and he did go for it. He wasn't someone in there just trying to collect his money. He did actually um, try and fight Kell Brook back, but unfortunately for him, he just hadn't competed anywhere near the level that Kell Brook has competed in. So the writing was on the wall once Kell Brook found his feet and uh, Kell Brook looked very impressive to me. I mean, he scored a knockdown in the third round. He busted Mark DeLuca's nose. And um, like some of the punch output and variety that Kelbrook was showing reminded me of the stuff that he used to do. Um, that was the Kelbrook that I remember seeing. So um, after the third round, I mean, it was pretty obvious that Mark DeLuca wasn't going to score any upset. It was just a matter of when uh, Kelbrook was going to get the win rather than if. So um, yeah, the next four rounds, Kelbrook was just, um, you know, being patient with himself, he wasn't overexerting it. He was uh, just like timing Mark DeLuca when he needed to, hitting him with shots. And in the seventh round, that was pretty much when the ending came, when a jab type hook shot dropped Mark DeLuca and it put him flat on his back. And you could tell after that, that he wasn't gonna like make it. I think he got up at the count of nine and just realized that I'm not gonna do anything more in this fight. So he put up a good effort. It was good from him, but Kell Brook looked very good for me. And um, yeah, on he goes. Now, this is what people were wondering what he was gonna do after the fight, what division he was gonna campaign in. He stated that he was very comfortable at the light middleweight and uh, he looked pretty lean, you know, he didn't look bulky or anything and um, he did look like he had quite a bit of energy left. So hopefully that that's the division he's going to compete and then, yeah, let him go for it. I mean, light middleweight is wide open at the moment when you consider the amount of fighters that are losing there. You've got um, Julian Williams, who just lost his titles. You had uh, Jamel Charlo, who lost his title, then regained it. Uh, it's, it's wide open in that division, man. And um, one positive news that we got from tonight was that they're going to look to try and make Kell Brook versus Liam Smith, which is a fight that, you know, I've been saying and quite a few other people have been saying should have happened for a long time now. I mean, I don't know why that fight was never really pursued. I know Liam Smith used to box under Frank Warren, but even then, I mean, I'm sh like they were still saying that, like Warren and Liam Smith were saying that they would happily make that fight. But now Liam Smith's over at Matchroom, it's even more easier. Both fighters, I mean, they definitely want it. You can tell Liam Smith wants it. He was there in the crowd tonight and um, he said multiple times that he wants that fight. And Cal Brook, to his credit, said he's up for that challenge as well. So, yeah, let's not mess around, man. Let's just get this fight done. Um, Kel Brook's had tune-ups now, like, he needs to jump into a big fight, he needs something to get him going, and Liam Smith is the guy to get him going, it's a big domestic fight over here, and, um, yeah, let's see it happen, I mean, the two are very familiar with each other, they've sparred with each other many times, so they are friends outside the ring as well, they do have mutual respect for each other, so I don't think this is going to be a hard fight to make, I think that it could uh, sell out an arena in the north of England, and, yeah, I think it's a good action fight, man, so... Let's not delay, let's just make it happen. But I thought Kelbrook looked good anyway tonight. And, um, you know, he said that this would be the last performance in front of, like, Sheffield. So who knows what's going, where he's going to be fighting after that. But, um, yeah, let's hope it happens, man. Him and uh, Liam Smith, let me know what you guys think of that and who you think would win it if they actually do get on. And uh, let's hope that it gets made for the summer. A quick note on the actual undercard. I thought it was a good Saturday fight night, if I'm honest, man. I thought Terry Harper was very impressive in her victory over Eva Wallstrom. And uh, she stepped up in class and, you know, she totally grabbed it with both hands, you know, the opportunity. And now she's the WBC Super Featherweight Women's Champion. Uh, Kid Galahad looked very impressive as well, winning every round. And um, I think it was the end of the seventh, he uh, managed to win the fight in the end with Marrero's corner pulling him out. And uh, Dave Allen uh, stopping Dorian Darch in three rounds. Good for him to get back on the comeback trail. And uh, maybe he can aim for that British title, which is what he pretty much wants to do now. So interesting developments in that sense. Let's see what happens. But again, overall, this Kell Brook post-fight video, I just thought I'd say he was uh, very impressive tonight. And uh, it's good to have him back. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below with that fight and, and any other fights you saw on Saturday Fight Night tonight. 
And um, yeah, just let me know your thoughts on about Kel Brook and Liam Smith as well. A fight that should have happened a while ago, but here we are. So yeah, drop your thoughts in the comments, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.